Sunday, September 29th, 2013. One ounce of silver is $22. One Bitcoin is $128. Peace News Now is brought to you by Bitcoin and Silver. From friends of WeUseCoins.com and SonsOfLibertyMint.com. Trade value for value with fine silver quarters from the Sons of Liberty Mint. Four quarters to a troy ounce. The most divisible, usable silver on the planet. Order some today at Sons of LibertyMint.com. When New Hampshire state rep and friend of Peace News Now, Mark Warden, last ran for re-election, his campaign staff urged him to try something that no other political candidates in the U.S. had ever dared to do, accept contributions in bitcoins. He raised about 160 bitcoins, which at the time was equivalent to about $1,600. Today, that's over $20,000. He received donations from as far as Europe and South America, and since his successful campaign, several other freedom-loving candidates have followed Mark Warden's lead. The Atlas Society hosted its first annual New Hampshire Charity Reverse Raffle Poker Tournament, which featured live entertainment, the opportunity to mingle with celebrities in the New Hampshire Liberty Movement and entrepreneurs from the Live Free or Die state, and the chance to win big at poker. Proceeds benefited the Atlas Society, which promotes the philosophy of open objectivism, advocating reason, individualism, achievement, and free markets. Learn more at atlassociety.org. James Babb of Philadelphia organized a GoFundMe campaign to pay for one month of a large advertisement in the D.C. Metro advertising jury nullification. The suggested text reads, quote, Jury duty? Know your rights. You may and should vote your conscience. You have the right to hang the jury with your vote if you cannot agree with other jurors. Google jury nullification. There are only seven days left to raise the $1,200 to fund this campaign. Donate through a link in the show notes. According to a post on the forums at defcad.com, plans for a 3D printed semi-automatic pistol are in the works. The design is a 22 that uses a 3D printed magazine based on the Ruger 1022 design. It uses the AR-15 fire control and firing pin to increase reliability and durability. Your next firearm arm could be composed of readily replaceable 3D printed parts, if not the entire firearm itself. Learn more at defcad.com. This story brought to you by friends of blockchain.info. Download the free Bitcoin wallet at blockchain.info. Jailed Pussy Riot member Nadezda Telekonikova, who's on a hunger strike to protest against inmates' slave life conditions, has been transferred to the prison's medical unit. The 23-year-old began her hunger strike on Monday in protest against alleged violations of prisoners' rights in the Mordovian colony. In an open letter published in the media last week, she claimed that inmates were treated like slaves, being made to work excessive hours, sewing police uniforms, and getting no more than four hours of sleep a day. Seven years ago, John Collins was charged with aggravated battery of a police officer, a felony in Illinois. He was sent to a Cook County jail, and bond was set at seven $75,000, which he couldn't pay. The jail was overcrowded, so John slept on the floor. He remained there for 385 days, during which time he missed the birth of his first child, a baby boy. His fiance brought his infant son to visit, but he was not allowed to hold him, separated by a pane of glass. Sometimes those visits were canceled, quote, when the jail was put on lockdown for stabbings and murders. Eventually, his fiance left him, saying his time in the jail had changed him. He wasn't the same person anymore. Today, Collins is a free man, acquitted of all charges, and the Chicago police owe him one million dollars. His seven-year odyssey may have finally ended this week, when a jury unanimously found the two officers involved guilty of malicious prosecution for fabricating the case against him. There were three independent witnesses to the altercation, and what they saw diverged greatly from the police officer's account. Know how to use your video camera and don't leave home without it. Peace News Now is on the next news network and is brought to you by friends of WeUseCoins.com and SonsOfLibertyMint.com. Share this episode with your friends and if you enjoyed it, send some Bitcoin to Donate.PeaceNewsNow.com. I'm Derek J. reminding you that peace is the way.